Let's head over to Washington and President Obama's nomination of Solicitor General Elena Kagan to the Supreme Court. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the latest for us. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Maggie. The White House says the president made his final choice last night, and he called Kagan about 8.30 in the evening, and then the White House let the others on the short list know that they weren't being called. The nomination comes as no surprise to many people here in Washington. Kagan's name was at the very top of the president's short list. Elena Kagan, Solicitor General of the United States. Elena Kagan now serves as Solicitor General, the administration's top lawyer. Before that, she was dean of Harvard Law, the first woman in both those jobs. And at 50, she is the youngest person President Obama was said to be considering. She's incredibly well respected for her ability to bring conservatives and liberals together. Plus, she gives the president someone who can be on the court for a quarter century and be his legacy. If she is confirmed, Kagan would become the third woman on the current court and replace 90-year-old John Paul Stevens, one of the court's more liberal members. Losing Stevens means there are three liberal-leaning justices and four conservatives, with Justice Kennedy considered the crucial swing vote. Where Kagan will fall is in question, as she is a moderate with no judicial record. I don't think that the White House is worried about whether they can get the person through. Instead, they want to have a relatively smooth process so it's not a distraction. They need the country focused on the president's economic agenda rather than on large social issues. Unlike President Obama's other finalists, Kagan has never been a judge, and her nomination is likely to bring protests from conservative groups. As dean of Harvard Law School, she argued against military recruiting on campus because she opposes the don't ask, don't tell policy. Despite this controversy, court watchers expect the Senate to confirm her. Elena Kagan is really well known by this White House. She was also in the Clinton White House. They've had a lot of time to go through her uh, paper record from her previous service in government, and she was just confirmed by the Senate, so she's been under the microscope. She, she was just confirmed, 61 to 31, but the tally this time might be a little closer because politics is going to play inevitably a much larger part. Harry? Imagine that. Bill Plant at the White House this morning. Thank you very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.